Hi, in this video we'll be discussing the problem largest sum subarray of size at least k. This problem has been asked in a couple of companies and it is based on the approach of sliding window. So let us quickly read this problem and see what the problem says. So basically in this problem you will be given one array which will be of length n. So basically total number of elements given to you will be n and you will be given another integer k. We have to find the largest sum of the subarray which is having at least k elements inside it. So it can have k elements inside it or more than k elements also right and it is guaranteed that the size of the array is at least k so the original array that has been given it is at least of size k okay now if you will see this uh, first test case so let us say that we have been given the n value as 4 so let's say n is given to us as 4 then what we are given here is we are given the array and let's say in the array we are given the elements as minus 4 then we have been given uh, minus 2 then we have been given 1 and then we have been given what? Then we have been given minus 3 as well. So suppose that we are given these all these elements. Okay. Now k value has been given as what? k value has been given as 2. So in this case you can see that whatever subarray we are choosing it should have at least size k. It should have the maximum sum and the size should be at least k but the size can be more than k also. Okay. But at least k size is required here. So if you will see in this problem going further, so the output final output is minus one. Why is that so? So like we can use uh, two pointers here first of all and what we can do is like let's say if we will initially start. So what we can do here is we will be initially starting with our i and j pointers from here. So let's say i is indicating for the left index and j is indicating for the right index. Okay. So what we will do is if we have the ith index and jth index in the starting, so we can have a sum variable and in the sum variable we can taking the sum of the elements. So initially the sum will become how much? The sum will become minus 4. And I will also keep a track of the maximum sum. So initially maximum will be initialized to what? int min that is negative infinity. Okay, because if I'm finding something maximum, so initially I initialize it as what? Negative infinity. Now, after this, what will happen is my J pointer will move forward, let's say, and now I will move to this element. And you can see that when I move to this element, so minus four and minus two, there are two elements in this window. So that is why it satisfies the criteria of uh, at least two elements in the subarray. Okay, now the sum will become how much? Minus four minus two will become minus six. So this sum is now coming out to be minus six. Now I will, check so what i will check is i will check the current window size so the current window size will be j minus i plus 1 okay uh, current window size will be j minus i plus 1 because i is standing at the zeroth index j is standing at the index 1 so 1 minus 0 plus 1 is how much it is total 2 so you can see that the length is coming out to be 2 so if the length is k at, at for the current window if the length becomes equal to k at least then in that case what i will do is i'll check with the maximum is the current sum greater than maximum yes so i'll update the maximum with what with minus 6 so this gets updated Okay, now after this part is done, so I will also have one more variable that will keep a track of the last sum. Okay, because once this much uh, window is there, okay, once these two elements are there because k window size is there, so I will keep on moving forward and I will keep on adding the elements, but I will also keep a track of the last elements that can be exempted from the window. So when I will move to the next element, that is when my j, j index will move to the element one, then my sum would become how much? Uh, I will update uh, j with one. Okay, like I will update the sum with one and the sum will become what? Minus five. So I will basically check that is this particular sum that I am having is it greater than the current sum that I have yes so I can update it also and now what I will do is uh, you can see that now the uh, currently the thing is that this is the window of at least size 2 so what is the last element that can be exempted from a last element uh, will be let's say the ith index okay so I will add the ith indexed element in the last variable and minus 4 will get added. Now what I'll be able to observe is that basically the thing here is that currently I am containing three elements in my window. At least I require two but I'm having three elements in my window. So I'm having minus 4, minus 2 and 1 and the sum of all these three elements is coming out to be minus 5 which is currently the maximum sum that I can see. But like since uh, uh, ith index was here okay and this can be exempted because if you will see so minus 2 and, and 1 they are already making the they are already um, making a window of size 2 or they are already making a sub array of size 2 so if I want I can exempt the last parts okay because last is indicating minus 4 it does not mean the last element it means the last couple of elements okay it means the last part of the window that is there just before this element minus 2 
okay so they could have been several elements as well now if you will see so the idea is to use the cadence algorithm whenever we have to find the maximum sum so what happens is if you will see if we are having minus 4 minus 2 and 1 so because of minus 4 the whole sum is getting down okay so the last window that is there the last before this window whatever is the last contiguous segment whatever is the last contiguous sub array before this uh, window of size 2 that is minus 2 and 1 if the last is coming out to be negative so do you want negative value to get added uh, do you want a negative sub array to be there if you are already able to make a sub, uh, sub array of size k so do you want that your sub array should also contain some last portion negative no you don't want because if the last portion is coming out to be negative then in that case what you will do is you will say that we will subtract this much part from the sum okay because we will not take this much part we will subtract this much part from the sum and when you will subtract minus 4 from the sum then what will happen the sum will become minus 1 and basically now this much sum would be considered okay and then you will mark the last sum as 0 because if the last sum was negative then you will uh, subtract that much from the current sum and you will mark the last as 0. So why we are doing this thing because this is basically cadence algorithm. So suppose that if this current window that I am at that is uh, minus 2 and 1 okay this uh, is the window of size 2 okay and before this also I can include elements because at least I need k elements I can have more than k elements so whatever was the last part before it okay if it is coming out to be negative if it is positive then I am okay with that okay but if it is negative then we don't want uh, the sum to become less because if the last part is negative then the current window of size k it will uh, it will uh, reduce the sum of the current window of size k so that is something that we don't want so that is why we will say what we will subtract the last from the sum and then now the sum becomes what minus one so since the sum becomes minus one and it is greater than the current maximum so the current maximum would be updated to minus one here okay so this is the main scenario that uh, what happens in cadence algorithm as well like currently suppose we are maintaining a window of size k and before that whatever last part we are including okay it might be a single element or might be couple of contiguous elements okay so if their sum is negative in that case what we will do is we will subtract this last part from the sum and we will mark the last as zero and then we will restart so as we keep on moving forward in our last we keep on adding the ith element always okay so this is how we will approach this problem and then you will see that what will happen here is we'll move our j pointer forward so my ith pointer would be standing uh, at the element let me just check which element was here so we had got minus 4 here okay now my ith pointer will come here and uh, j will come here now if you will see so currently the sum was minus 1 and minus 3 is getting added so now the sum will become how much the sum will become nothing but uh, here uh, minus 4 minus 1 minus 3 will be minus 4 so is this sum greater than maximum no the maximum is still minus 1 okay now in the last i will add the ith element so last will become what minus 2 and this indicates that uh, we already have a window of size k at least we have k elements but before that all the elements that are there if they are positive then we would keep them with us but if their total sum is cumulative sum is negative then we will exempt them so since this is the other than the k elements that we want these are the elements that we are having that is we are having only minus 2 and it is negative the sum of this cumulative segment is negative so we will not want it so we'll subtract this from the sum and the sum will become what minus 2 okay because we will subtract from minus 4 we subtract minus 2 so now minus 2 will be left with us we'll check is minus 2 greater than maximum no okay then we will also mark our last as 0 because now this last segment will be exempted okay and now my i will move forward and obviously when we'll move our j forward then we'll stop because the loop ends so basically the idea is to use a sliding window plus cadence algorithm approach okay sliding window plus cadence algorithm right plus cadence algorithm and in cadence algorithm what we do is whatever like uh, the idea is that if currently we are having at least k elements in the current segment okay then before that segment uh, before that whatever is the contiguous segment if that portion is having a positive sum then we will have it because that will increase our sum of the current sub array okay because if we are having more than k elements that's fine but what happens is if we already have k, at least k elements and whatever elements uh, we are taking from the last contiguous segment okay if it is contributing a negative sum so it is decreasing our overall sum so then we want to exempt that then we want to remove that much sum from the current sum and then we want to check the maximum sum again and we want to mark the last portion as zero okay because we want to restart taking the last portion so this is the idea for this problem and obviously since we, it is sliding window approach so the time complexity would be linear in nature for this okay so let's try and quickly uh, code this up and see how we can solve this problem okay so let me just increase the font first of all so that we can code it up okay so now what we'll be doing here is we need a couple of variables okay so firstly we need what we need long long 
uh, int we need let's say i variable okay initially starting from zero let's say we'll have a j variable initially starting from zero okay then what we can have is let's say we can have long uh, long some variable which we, uh, like long long int some variable uh, which can also start from zero this uh, will be the sum and we can also have what uh, long long int mx okay and initially we can initialize it as what let's say we can initialize it as uh, something like long min okay you can initialize it as int min also if you want okay so this will basically store the maximum sum at the end of the day and then we also need the uh, sum of the last contiguous portion suppose we already have a segment of uh, contiguous sub of k length but before that whatever contiguous segment uh, is there last segment if it is uh, having positive sum then we will have it but if the last contiguous sum is having negative sum then we'll reduce it from the current sum okay so that's why we need the last variable as well so initially last will be marked as zero then what we'll do here is we'll say that okay uh, our uh, j pointer will be up and running it will behave like the right pointer so j will start from zero and j will be lesser than the size of the array then what we are going to do is we are going to do a j plus plus okay and then inside the sum we will add the jth element so sum plus is equal to what a of j so we'll add the jth element in our sum and what we will check is we will check that if j minus i plus one so if the size of the current window if it becomes equal to k so if at least k elements are there in my window then i need to check that uh, the current sum that i am having okay if it is greater than the maximum sum that i have stored so far then the maximum sum would get updated with the current sum okay otherwise uh, what i will check is otherwise suppose that if j minus i plus one okay if this is greater than k so if the uh, current uh, window that I'm having okay current sub array that I have it's if its size is more than k so if I'm containing more than k elements then I need to check that whatever k elements are there apart from that whatever is, are the last elements okay so like suppose that these k elements are there and before that whatever last elements are there okay extra elements some of the extra elements will be indicated by the last variables if they're having positive sum then I will not have any worry because they are only increasing my sum overall but if they are contributing a negative sum then I would reduce them from the current sum okay so this is what we need to do so we'll say that okay in this case if the uh, j minus i plus 1 is greater than k so i will check the uh, if this uh, window sum is greater than my maximum sum so far then my maximum sum would get updated okay and then what we will do is we'll say that last uh, plus is equal to a of i so basically we'll add the ith element uh, as i was saying that from the left side we'll we'll keep on adding the last part okay and then after this we will do i plus plus so this is what we have done and after doing this we'll check that if the last part that apart from the current k elements that we at least have in our sub array whatever extra elements that we are trying to take if their sum is less than zero so they are bringing our current sum down so we need to remove them okay so then we will say that sum minus is equal to last so whatever extra elements we are having will reduce them from the sum okay and we'll mark those last elements sum as zero because we don't want them okay and then after this what we'll do is we'll say that maximum is equal to max of current maximum comma this updated current sum okay and at the end of the day after this loop is over then what we will do is we'll sim simply do what will simply return the maximum sum here so let's just try and uh, run this code and see if i have made any mistakes okay it works fine on the samples and let's try and submit this code as well to check if it is working fine for all the test cases okay so you can clearly see that my code was able to pass all the test cases like all the 1115 test cases that were there and as i said initially this problem is very important and it has been uh, asked in companies like facebook paytm and mintra so this problem uses the concept of sliding window plus the cadence algorithm technique that is whenever you start having a negative sum then and if you want the maximum sum and whenever you start having a negative sum then you remove that much sum uh, from your window okay so if suppose that you have more than k elements okay so whatever k elements currently you have apart from that whatever is the last portion if that is starting to contribute negatively then you would remove that sum from your current sum okay that is what we are doing here and then we mark the last portion as zero and then we again update uh, the maximum with the updated sum after removing the last negative segment okay this is how this problem is done and for my code the time complexity would come out to be order of n because uh, it is just using a two pointer approach where the j pointer will be moving from the left to right and i pointer in the worst case can move from left to right so these two will be running uh, uh, 
correspondingly so uh, it will be like order of n plus order of n that is overall order of n complexity only and the space complexity for my code would be linear because I'm not using any extra data structure I'm just using a couple of variables so the space complexity will be constant in nature I hope that you have understood this problem clearly in case if you have any doubt with respect to this problem you can ask in the comments and I'll reply as soon as possible thank you for watching this video